okay to work with, they're still not going to be good friends. And none of them is the type to be a best friend. Okay. <laughs> I'm just chuckling even thinking about it. Okay, bro. If one of them does become a friend, it should be her. Because there's a bunch of rumors going around about you being racist. And, you know, frankly, it's a little embarrassing for me. As if I become a racist by osmosis. Even though I mostly kill white people. So, catch you guys later. How y'all doing out there? This is Nico B, the Black Enterprise. And then this is the episode of The Black Effect. Hit that like and subscribe button. If this is your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. You won't regret it, trust me. This is one of the most powerful channels on YouTube. I wanna go ahead and get into it quickly. Racist white men and black women have a our allies and our best friends they make the best of friends racist white men and black women make the best of friends and i'm not talking about just your everyday black woman i'm talking about the divester i'm talking about the the black woman who hates black men they make the best of friends why because they have that one thing in common and that's their hatred for black men now you will have you will have a a group of black women on on YouTube who will say that black men that they that they hate black like this is now look this is what they'll say they'll say that black men don't like black women and neither does white women white women and that's a false narrative because white women I'm gonna just tell you they don't have no problems with black women. They don't have any reason to. It's the same way like for you to say that white men are jealous of black men or have a problem with that. And you have this same group of women to be like, oh, no, that's just not the case, even though they not men. So they don't understand any of that of what's going on. They ain't, they've never done anything. And they have this. Um, they don't understand that, man, how wealth could transfer like this. They don't understand how men, how warfare and other things, other factors could turn the tides instantly, nearly instantly, you know, amongst men. And all women will do is just go try to do the same thing, you know, and this is this is our weak women will do. Weak women try to run and get with the, you know, the person that they perceive is winning the war like or winning out of the men like which i mean they you hear these women talking about it all the time a bunch of stupid shit a bunch of stuff like you know like <laughs> like you got many black men who are in power right now you know what i'm saying i mean you have black owned countries i mean i don't i don't get you know where these all it takes is some work you know it's some improvement on your own, not running. We are saying this. The black man is saying, I'm going to tell you, I'm saying this right now for the record. The black man is not sitting here talking about running to the white man looking or, or other races of people looking for anything. That's these black women on YouTube begging the white man, you know, like he Jesus on earth, man. Like that's not black men doing that. Black men are getting this because you and again, we understand women understand this. These the these divesters or I'ma just just put them in it. It's it's not just divesters, the black women who have this delusional mindset. It's those followers of Cynthia G also. You know what I'm saying? Women like that and followers of who uh, them them other uh them bid them black women who basically it's a group of black women who basically just don't do nothing but bash black men. I don't know where you know where they stand in their life. Like they don't they date black men, but they bashing them all day. You got the chick, you know, it's some women married to black men on YouTube, bashing black men all day. Man, that's some some mental illness. Like to me, you know, and you looking very, very weak. Like you look weak begging, you know, in a free society. You know, where you could do whatever you need to do. Ain't nobody, and if you look at, ain't nobody doing nothing. Ain't nobody, if you say this same group of black women will be like, ain't nobody oppressing nobody. You know what I'm saying? So how the hell is, is no way that you could say that you're not oppressed, but then you are oppressed at the same time. So if, you know what I'm saying? You can't say the black man is not oppressed, you know, and he could be able, and he could do whatever he want. You're using the white man for excuses, using slavery, 400 years of it as an excuse, 
when that's nothing but a byproduct of everything that you're going through, these women and me and black men today, when that's a direct byproduct of it, your dad, your the reason why you were raised the way you were is a direct byproduct of that, of slavery, uh, 400 years of that, and Jim Crow and all of these other things that's been going, uh, lack of... Uh, of resource, lack of um, generational wealth, lack of guidance, lack of, of sense of self, lack of, of knowing of history, of proper history. Even right now, you have black people trying to rewrite. They don't trying to figure out their history, man, and rewrite it. And some don't even know it. This is pathetic. It's time to, you know what I'm saying? Time for us to rise up. The brothers, the brothers is going to make this happen. I don't, I don't care. Like, I'm not even, I'm not here to bicker and dicker docker with women all day. I'm done with that. We're not here to do that. But what I am going to say is you saw in that clip that I played, I, I played that clip and that clip show you this clip right here. I'm going to play it again. That clip show you that race, it was, movies and shows are very telling, man. Movies and shows are, are intelligent and they'll let you know they're very reflective of society, art reflecting um, life, life reflecting art. That uh, have a symbiotic relationship, symbiotic relationship. Those things they go hand in hand. So when you're looking at a show like in Peacemaker, when the guy was telling him, he's like, you know, what I'm saying, P you know, Peacemaker in the comic books was a, you know, his father is a damn racist, like a very nasty racist. You could see that in the show. And so is Peacemaker. Peacemaker took on his traits. Peacemaker, that's how racists happen. You know, they're born from their father. They raised up by their fathers and mothers and their parents and people in their family. They're recruited. It's the same way. Peacemaker is a racist piece of crap. You saw Peacemaker in the movie Suicide Squad. Dude is a piece of crap. You understand? Don't care, like, don't care about life. We said, don't care about what women and children I could kill. Of course, in the show, they, you know, he's starting to have second thoughts and trying to, you know what I'm saying, become, have a, uh, become more of a better human being. But still, this dude is a racist piece of crap, period. And the one who he befriends on this, you know, and, and throughout this show is seeming they are buddy, buddy. And she understands him the best, sees the best in Peacemaker. Like say it actually says Peacemaker's a good man. Only person saying that is that black chick. Everybody else, the white woman, like, man, you're a piece of shit. He trying to hit on a white woman. She like, bro, it's no way. You know what I'm saying? You are a racist creep who kill kids. You know what I'm saying? And ain't no coming back from that. But. You have this black woman seeing the redeeming qualities in a racist child murderer. It's like, man, you can't make this up. And that's why you have these groups. You have a certain group of black women on the Internet who basically they ancestors be damned. They father be damned. They husband be damned. They sons be damned. They'll get on there and, and make it seem like, you know, that every other race is so much better than theirs. They'll make it, they'll get on there and try to make it, but you know, uh, every other race of men is so much better. Every other race of men have done, you, you know, or, or just they, they some benevolent beings, <laughs> you know, but you won't excuse, but you, but you'll demonize the victim. You'll demonize the black man who've kept you alive. If the black man, if it had been, if he, if he had just been like, you know what, screw it. I don't. If it hadn't have been for y'all, the women and children, he wouldn't be here today because he would have come. He would have pulled the Amistad, or he would have. Or matter of fact, he probably would have. Uh, it just would have looked different. Like our kingdom would look a, a lot different. Matter of fact, we we mess around. We probably would have had a kingdom by now. You know what I'm saying? Or or in a. And I'm talking about American blacks, um, the chosen people of God, the Hebrew Israelites, the those who travel from, you know what I'm saying, the, the chosen from the, the holy lands and the chosen, again, the chosen people of God, those who migrated over here on those slave ships. We would have, things would have looked totally different if we had have decided to just be like, screw it, you know, it, but because I'm going to tell you like this, the women and children weren't going to fight. The women weren't going, they weren't, they were nothing but liabilities at the time. They weren't talking about something. Mm -hmm. Well, you better, you, mm -hmm. you better go and do this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need you to do this. They, they weren't talking no shit. They weren't talking. 
You know what I'm saying? They was they had their head down looking up to the nigga. They had their head down. They were looking up to the sky because they was liable to be raped, killed, and sold like property at the drop of a hat. And there was nothing they could do. That and the white man wasn't trying to hurt no well, I, you know, uh, you know, he wasn't trying to listen to you worship him like white Jesus. He didn't give a damn. He didn't care what you said. You better not even act like you know how to read or act like you got some. You wasn't finna be so opinionated as you be with the black man. The black man gave it. The black woman, you could say that, you know, you heard women talking about you not able, wasn't able to rest in their feminine. Well, how the hell are you going to be resting in your feminine when we at war behind enemy lines? Resting in feminine. You be resting with your man, listening to what he tell you. Keep it, you know what I'm saying? Or get the hell out of Dodge. And if you're not going to do that, that's where this divestment crap comes in. Because you don't want to listen. They, these women never wanted to listen to a black man. They didn't listen. They didn't have a father. Again, they don't respect their ancestors. They don't believe that that black men has done anything when you see them doing it right in their face. You could show them a pattern of a black man who didn't design created, designed, patented an invention and, you know, and doing pretty good for himself and providing for his family. The black woman will just, they'll just ignore that. Those type, those, those toxic, wicked black women will just ignore that. They're just like, eh, <laughs> you know, well, 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 well look, blah, 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 blah. The motherfuckers just be talking, man. That's all they be doing at this point. They just be talking. Like, don't be so, like, and it's sad. It's like, don't be so bitter, man. You know, ain't nobody mad. Ain't nobody, you know, <laughs> unbeknownst to you, man, the white woman ain't mad at you. The white woman don't give a damn what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, like a, like we said before, the black man, don't be trying to get mad at the at the, the small group of black men who swirling and shit. Why you concentrating on that? Why are you worried about that when that's a small minority group? I know you see that a lot more because black men, you know, in history, they couldn't talk to white women. White women couldn't talk to black men at the same time. White women, you think white women wouldn't attract the black men seeing them on the plantation? Because the thing is, is once you have everything, you can then, when you're not just starved for resources, you can then make a decision Who's the best man for you? And if your man is kicking your, you know, the white man was kicking the white woman teeth in at the same time, fucking everything that move and acting like I'm the best thing since sliced bread. When she know he not, she know that nigga stole everything he got. That nigga ain't intelligent. Jim Bob not that intelligent. Jim Bob not rich. And this ain't no knock, first of all, this ain't no knock to, to you know, to white men. See, that's the thing. White men, un men of all races understand each other. They have a link that got through God to where they understand each other. The way I'm talking, when white men hear my video, they know that it ain't nothing but love. I'm not sitting here, I don't have no, um, and I've said this before, like I'm not here as no race soldier. That ain't, that ain't how I get down. I'm a soldier for the Lord, for Jesus Christ himself. Yes, sir, soldier in the army of God. But I will keep it real and tell the truth. Which means I'm going to keep it real across the board. Equal opportunity offender. And the thing about what white men understand, they hear what we saying the same way we hear what they saying about they women. They created MGTOW. We understood that. And it resonated with us because their women were out of pocket. That's every man across the board, okay? But it's only the black woman who has this pathetic mindset and it's only a certain group it's a lot of it's a lot of queens who, who are caught and i don't use that word lightly i'm speaking to those women who are that who have that royal mindset and who said man it's no fucking way boy that i'm finna be begging this white man for love <laughs> begging him for resource begging him when i don't even it ain't even no reason for me to do that you know i'm gonna go get behind my man who's on the upper trajectory the black man he is I mean, damn, it's only one way to go, but up, like, you feel me? And that's for black men and women. But honestly, like, you could see with your own eyes the black man making upward trajectory. Yeah, the same way you could see knuckleheads killing themselves, black knuckleheads. Same way you can see that and open your mouth, you see positive black men doing things and, and creating every day. And it's fixing to, in 2022, it's finna increase. We fix it to act, the brothers are fixing to link up. The brothers are going to separate from our weak, from the weak brothers, from the simps. We're going to separate. You can't come around 
because we need to build a powerful force and it's going to be all across the globe because we linked up you know what i'm saying through uh social media so you know it's either you get with it or get left if you want to go big and, and think that when it come, you know what I'm saying, when, when the war pop off and when shit pop off, that your best interest is going to be held by white people. You know, other by other, not just white people, other groups, you're going to go to Honduras, you gonna, or, you know, or Spanish people going to adopt you and now you're Cuban, you know, now you're Spanish and they going to, you know, you're going to have a, that they going to put you, you know what I'm saying, on the same priority scale as themselves. I, I go off and do that. You understand? Do it quickly and leave us alone. But that's all I say is leave us alone. And we don't care about what you're doing with racist white men. Okay? You could go, you and racist white men, y'all since slavery times have been best friends. You have worshipped him because what in turn what he do for you is make it seem like you have an ally in controlling your man. You understand? The white woman don't have nobody to do that with. She can't go to the Asian man and be like the white man. Out of so the white woman just said, look, I'm the woman with everything. Fuck it. Out of him, out of him, out of him now, out of him, out of him. I'm going to pick this dude. And you've heard what white women say, how the black man, how, it's something about his heart, the spirit, they connect with them. You know, I've known this. Like I've said this in the movie. And again, another movie, Hancock. If you look at that movie, Hancock, the whole premise of that movie it was you know will smith and charlize their own relationship together if they were powerful you know what i'm saying they couldn't if once they separated they they would gain they pat like they would have all these superpowers when they got together you know what i'm saying they could get together but they would lose their powers they wouldn't have any superpowers anymore but the stuff was so powerful you know what i mean that they still wanted to, you know, they still long for each other. They kept coming back, like, throughout time and history. They kept coming back to each other. And this is the movie theme of just, like, the, like, she was the only one who truly understood Will Smith. You see the opposite things there? <laughs> now, in a real, in a normalized society, now, you have, now, this is for a lot of, the, I would say the majority of black women. The majority of black women understand black men. That's just how it works. The same way the majority of white women understand white men. Because the same way Hispanic women understand Hispanic men. Same way a Chinese woman. Gonna understand the Chinese man. She has a brother. She had a father, brother. Cause man, come on. These are the this is your culture. This this is in these women are raised with that. They feel that energy in the womb. Their energy is cultivated from the womb. These are just facts. But again, these these black women who are friends with these waste, racist white men, what they've done is told on the black man. When there was time when niggas was setting up to get ready to run, they had blueprints. You know what I'm saying? They was doing this. You know, she felt like she was actually something special. She felt like, you know, she go, she, and, you know, she go tell the white man what's going on. The white woman, the, the woman of the house, being that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Trying to put her man in place. You know what I mean? He going off talking to her, pillow talking to her. You know what I'm saying? She she talking shit to the looking at the white woman upside her head. Mm. Mm. She me me Sally just don't understand. Massa a good man. Massa then hung four of my brothers, but Massa a good man. Man, I said it burned my like I remember last time he called uh Joe Smith out there. Uh, he he was trying to run, you know what I'm saying? And he and and he massa caught him and cut off both his feet. But he a good man, Miss Sally, you know what I'm saying? Man, Miss Sally was looking at this bitch like, ugh. You you're a Negro bedwitch. Shut the hell up. That's why she smacked her ass. White woman, Miss Sally, smack out, back in the pay out. Shut your ass up. You don't know nothing about nothing, and you need to go out there and tend to yo man. You know, go tend to uh, go tend to Mandingo, go tend to Big Sam out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Big Sam with the baby on swinging, the elephant trunks. You know what I'm saying? Down, go tend to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Damn, cause I know I want to. 
That's what she talking about. Go tend to Big Sam, that big musket. Go tend to uh black, black, uh, black Keith over there. You know what I'm saying? Go tend to Django down there. Go tend to Django. You see that nigga? That big muscular black dude, you know what I'm saying? That handsome black dude down there. Skin melanated. Nigga skin ain't never burning. My shit we out here pasty face ass niggas. Cause we know back in the day, white men, we didn't give them the swag just yet. They didn't take our swag just yet. They didn't adopt our swag just yet, which is a gift. We've given that to them. Cause without that, that you see how they looked. Niggas was just out there looking like they was themselves. <laughs> Without our swag, they themselves. And, I, and and they know what I'm talking about. It ain't nothing but love for the, for the brothers. And I'm talking about the white brothers. Yeah, you know what it is. Those, those men are with us. It's nothing. You know what I mean? They, they, they actually understand black men. Now, some white men, like I said, for the, those who are just removed from the black experience and the plight, they they'll try to, you know, at least understand. But they don't they not feeling where a nigga coming from. They ain't because they ain't, they haven't really done anything with us, you know, with us. Not, a, you know, not not I seen it on TV or something. No, I mean, with us. But those Negro bed winches, man. I'm serious, bro. Like, though they, man, like when we pick your enemies, like it's time, the brothers. These are the enemies of the brothers. Racist white men and women, Kyles and Karens, Negro bed witches and divesters, bitter black women who have been hurt Upwards and downwards, those, you know what I'm saying? You, you know who they are. A lot of those women can come come back to the, uh, as long as they hadn't, you know, went over with those, been doing those swirling, you know what I'm saying? Putting them, being, put, putting themselves out there begging white men and, and white, uh, white people and other races of men. They can come, some of them can come back. Out of that third group, that's the only ones who could come back. But the fourth group, the fourth enemy is them fucking simps. Man, like the simp. And this is the simp. And that's, this is a dude, this is a black man. This is a dude who look like us. Get his ass up out of there. And I'm not talking about violently or, you know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about with righteous anger. Nigga, we finna clown you. If you don't want to get clowned, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't come over here. If you got it, you know, your dress and your, your, your panties in a bunch. When, you know what I'm saying, niggas is talking. Don't even come over here. Because we fit a bomb on your ass with the fire of God to get you to wake up. You can't be a part of us if you're not going to be strong. You understand? This ain't no weaklings over here. So that's the enemies, man. You got it. You see? It's like, it's like you know, the brothers, when we on our way right now, we doing the righteous thing. Trying, I'm talking about helping the youth. And for you brothers, listen to my voice. When you see a young brother, don't just let him just walk past. Don't just be, I don't care if you see him in a store. Talk to him. Say something to him. Say, give him a compliment. I'm talking about as a older, uh, older man, as a man, when you see an 18 year old, a 15 year old, a 10 year old boy, I don't care, man. Say something to him. Say something positive to him. Yes, sir. It's on. Give him a blessing. Why don't y'all give a person a blessing like the law said in the Bible how the Pharisees was coming to him when God was was uh blessing people, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, and doing things like that. They're like, why are you doing this to me? He's like, bro, it ain't nothing to give a person a blessing. You know what I'm saying? That's why I pray, you know, so nigga tell me good day. I say you have a blessed day. Cause I'm trying, I'm gonna give you a blessing. You know what I'm saying? When you tell a person that, you know, now that's setting it into motion, into the universe. You telling the Lord, first of all, as a chosen the Lord, you telling the Lord, you know, to bless these people. You asking him to do that. You understand? So get when you when you see a young man, get to let him know you out here adore. Let him know you one of the brothers, man. Let him know. Like we're gonna come up with something. We gonna come up with some like you know it's not a game but you gotta let them know like it's a fraternity like let them know you part of the brothers this is the this we part of the Hebrew Israelites we part of, like for real like come on let's get it so with that being said because because you see how they are man you see how like I say media is showing you this media is even showing the black man like racist white men and black women. When you see black women, a lot of times doing that, talking about this swirling and worshiping white men, they talking about racist white men. Yes, because they hate black men. All of them, both of them. That's what they have in common. That being said, Deco B, Black Effect, you know I'm gone.